have all the guns. That's what government is. It's not your protector. It's not your savior. It's not the salvation of the poor. It's not the healer of the sick. It's not Jesus walking on water to bring you a donut. It is the guys with all the guns. And that's all it is. That's all it's ever been. And the fact that it actually has been said to the general public in one of the most popular shows to come out in the last year, I have all the guys with the guns. Shocking. I mean, it's, it's something I've been saying for like 30 years, and now I can see it actually coming out. Of Government's the a gang with a, with, with, with a flag. They are the, you know, they're the, they're the disorganized crime. Yeah, organized crime is the mafia government. They, they're just the better criminals, right? Like the guys who own the banks are the better bank robbers. The, the guys who run the government are the better organized criminals. They just, they won, and they get to run the show. And the fact that it's actually being talked about, and there is this complete, it might as well be a mob movie. And it's incredibly popular. Yes, it is incredibly popular. And even the name of it, House of Cards, it's all about to come down. And what a wonderful thing it has been to be right for 30 years and have the credibility of accurately predicting catastrophe. Because it's really hard to argue with people who've been saying the non-obvious for 30 years who turn out to be completely right. And I think that this, uh, there's no future in the universe of House of Cards. It is all just circling the drain, grab as much as you can. It's like Indiana Jones, like when the, 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 the door is coming down, you just grab whatever gold you can stuff in your pockets and try and get out. The days are numbered, and this is why the anti-gun stuff is so strong. Oh, the elites are all running to armored redoubts in the middle of nowhere. They're already running down the temple hallway with the big uh, rock rolling towards them. Right. And, and they're telling us, be calm, though. Yeah, yeah. Because they don't want us to run for the exits yeah. and block their exit. Buy some government bonds. It's a really great <laughs> investment. They have bonds in Canada, the 75-year bonds. I mean, does anyone seriously think that this system is going to be around in 75 years to pay off that principle? It's, it's mad. I but mean, what does it say that I could produce something like Loose Change, seen over 150 million times downloaded? I mean, I, I helped produce those. Uh, what was the producer? Uh, that I can make films. I'm not bragging, but but literally, I, I mean, I've made films that have been seen 50, 60 million times myself a piece, just on YouTube and Google. And I'm nobody. Imagine when that paradigm finally shifts and people realize they don't have to run to L.A. try to go make their movies. Mm -hmm. the, the, when everyone starts making them themselves and all that new talent gets turned loose, it's a new renaissance on every front. I don't think the globalists can stop human progress unless... One of their little experiments or, the, or a war they start ends up, you know, killing everybody. I just hope that collectively, through individual action, we can block them from blowing the planet up. Well, that's what we have to do. I mean, people ask me, where does the future go? The future goes where the most passionate and virtuous people tell it to go. It's up to us. It's up to the people. I mean, where does the future go? It's where I want it to go. It's where you want it to go. It's where these listeners want it to go. That's where the future goes. And my experience was, you know, I struggled through um, uh, graduate school in Canada, heavily socialist country. I did, it's not like I couldn't master the material. It was just really hard work trying to get free market voluntary principles to be accepted by academics up in Canada. And uh, I tried to publish books. I wrote books. I got great reviews on the books. Nobody would publish them. Now I do, I don't have your reach. I got three to four million downloads a month of a philosophy show. I mean, this is unprecedented. The fact that I can actually talk to people now. Yeah, top philosophers in the world can't get that. But yeah. you go out in the free market, boom, you win. It shows they can't pick the winners. Look at, look, more and more they can't, they're out of bullets. Hmm. Look at how they try to make Hillary like a movie star. CNN, MSNBC, she's so beautiful, she's so glamorous. No wonder you're tanking like a lead balloon in the ratings. <laughs> Trying to make Michelle Obama look like a reanimated snapping turtle. Uh, you know, how beautiful she is. I mean, it's literally a bunch of narcissistic criminals. At least the old-fashioned kleptocrats need to stay quiet and shut up and just look stately. They actually want to be on red carpets and parade around in front of us in some Edward Bernays type deal. It's not working. <laughs> no, I think it's, it's better if they don't talk so much. You know, it's like that really pretty but dumb girlfriend everyone has at one time in their life or another. It's like, I'll introduce you to my friends. If you could just smile and not talk too much, that would be excellent. Well, I mean, I mean, look, it's one thing if, if scumbag, you know, rock and roll people or whatever want to show off with a bunch of women in, in, a, in a jet and bling. People kind of go, oh, that's rock stars yeah. or that's hip hop people. It's still cheesy. But when the president and his whole camp followers are strutting around in red carpets and, and I'm good at killing people and, and look how sexy my wife is. I mean, it's delusion. Yeah. I mean, don't they know people don't want to look at you in a taxpayer paid red carpet and we're sick of you. Well, but they live in the bubble of privilege, right? They live in the bubble. I, like, I can't picture what it's like to be on the other side of the gun. Because, you know, my whole life, when I was a kid, as a, you know, I mean, go to school, or you pay your taxes, obey the law, you sit 
this side of the gun, gun pointing straight at you, right? Barrel straight at you. I can't even imagine what it must be like, Alex, to be on the other side of that gun. In other words, people have to watch your show. People have to give you money. People have to do what you say. Like, I can't imagine, but it must be. That would be like a woman having sex with me who didn't want to. Yeah. That's horrible. I mean, I, I, yeah, yeah, we have some compassion, some empathy, and all. Well, that. no, I mean, the point is, I want her to be passionate and like me. Like, I, I want them out of free association. The government is raping us. They want to go. They want to rape us. Yeah, but they want to go back into power. This is what, it, like, for me. No, I know, but I'm saying they want to make us. Oh, I know. I it's know, it's rape. It's rape. But that's because they know they have nothing of value to add, but their vanity can't accept that, so they have to force it on us. For me, being in power, be like, take a wild ferret and upend an aquarium and put it in that wild ferret. That ferret's going to be like, ah! <laughs> Gotta get out. I mean, you put me in power for a day, I'm clawing to get out. These people work night and day for years. Get back into power. I mean, it's like they're a completely different species. And then you study how they live, they're actually prisoners. In some ways, yeah. Yeah, no, oh, because the bureaucracy is the real power. Yeah, yeah. And, and it can, we're going to come in and jam in some phone calls. I promise, Todd, you're up next. And then, and then. We're gonna, there's two Todds. That's why I'm going to get Todd in Texas and Todd in Canada. The two Todds, straight ahead and... My name is Jessica Armand. I'm an activist, a GCN listener, and mother of three. Our drinking water and food are filled with fluoride and other contaminants that harm our teeth and gums. To protect my family, I created My Magic Mud, an all-natural teeth whitening and strengthening remedy. My Magic Mud is a soft powder that polishes your teeth, reduces sensitivity, and removes harmful toxins from deep inside your mouth. You deserve a bright, healthy smile. Visit MyMagicMud.com and get yours today. That's MyMagicMud.com. The ultimate survival bug out lightweight fishing pole is Emrod. Made by a family owned American company and assembled in Idaho, Emrod fishing gear comes with a lifetime warranty and 90 day money back guarantee. Emrod weighs just 8 ounces and breaks down to 14 inches. Emrod's indestructible stainless steel compact design makes it perfect to take anywhere. Cast your eyes now at Emrod.com. That's E M M R O D.com. Emrod. Fish to survive, survive to fish. It's very easy to be a criminal. All you need to burglarize a home is one simple household tool, a pair of scissors. If your home security system can be compromised by a criminal using scissors, then you're making it easy for them. Almost every home security system, even though sold by big name companies, has a weakness. The phone line. You shell out 1500 bucks, get locked into a long-term contract, and think you're safe. But a burglar can destroy your alarm in seconds with one snip. And when a burglar cuts your phone line, you're defenseless. Simply Safe Home Security is the smarter choice. Built by Harvard engineers, Simply Safe uses a wireless connection to call the cops. Scissors can't cut it, and that means your home stays safe. 24 7 professional monitoring is under $15 a month with no contract. Simply Safe Home Security keeps you safer than the other guys for half the cost. Protect your home with the alarm you can trust. Simply Safe. Go to GetSimplySafe.com now for an exclusive 10% offer. That's GetSimplySafe.com. Hi folks, Alex Jones here with some important information. I want to tell you about Matt Redhawk and his team of patriots over at My Patriot Supply. Several years ago, Matt was sitting in his two-bedroom apartment, frustrated with the direction this country was headed, and the charlatans willing to sell us out for a quick buck. Deciding to take action, a company run by Patriots for Patriots was born. My Patriot Supply has never taken a loan or accepted outside funding. They now operate two distribution facilities and employ over 50 hardworking American men and women. It is rare to find companies who practice what they preach. And that's why I stock my pantry with high quality storable foods from My Patriot Supply. Go to MyPatriotSupply.com forward slash Alex today for special offers on emergency food storage or call their preparedness specialist at 866-229-0927. That's 866-229-0927. Do business with someone who shares your values. MyPatriotSupply.com slash Alex. <laughs> Minutes of overdrive with Stefan Molyneux. will be on the nightly news tonight talking about the war on men, the subject of the new March issue of InfoWars magazine. Canadian Mounties override civilian rule to arbitrarily ban and confiscate firearms. That just broke minutes ago at InfoWars.com. Showdown, Maryland to target and confiscate 110,000 citizens' firearms. Video, Bloomberg wants to ban free speech on Facebook. Unbelievable. Uh, that is just some of the news up on InfoWars.com. Government, police fund radar crowd scanner to detect 3D printed weapons. And we have like a gun theme today that just 
without me even telling my riders, just a theme appears of what's happening sometimes. Very serious. Let's jam in some calls for Stefan Molyneux. Todd in Texas, then Todd in Canada. You're on the air, Todd. Yeah. Hey, Alex. Um, I talk a little bit about the IRS and uh, the veil coming off. Uh, I think it came off with a loud thud on the floor, and I don't think anybody even looked to see what it was. No, I hear you. They declare the fifth when they're committing crimes, but then they don't let us declare the fifth in IRS forms. I mean, that's all I can say. And then, and the next thing, everyone's saying they want to take your guns. I don't believe they want to take your guns at all. Not for one minute. Well, they're trying to confiscate them everywhere they get control, they do. No, I believe that's a ruse. I believe they don't want to take your guns. They want you to use your guns. And then they can blame the economic collapse on you. Well, when there is a large economic collapse, it'll be guns that maintain order, like in the L.A. riots when the cops left. So I hear you, and I appreciate your call. Let's Before we go to the other, Todd, let's talk to Raymond, listing on 1530 AM in Chicago. Raymond, uh, you're on the air. Go ahead. Yes, sir. I, I was calling in regards to the gun confiscation and them uh, talking about, you know, even using the word gun for, for the younger younger people. Yeah, that's now uh, a thought crime, according to uh, our dictator Bloomberg. Yes. So what are they going to, I mean, then, that, then they should uh, outlaw all these shoot 'em up games then. Oh, no, no. They're allowed to have shoot 'em up games uh, violently on the Super Bowl, but a pro gun thing about men protecting their household that doesn't even show a gun, that's banned on the Super Bowl. Well, yeah, exactly. I, I don't get their thinking. I really don't get their thinking. I hear you, brother. Talking about that young man that, you know, shoot his uh, pop tart in the shape of a gun. Well, that's in 1984. You can be disappeared for even less. I mean, so let him get suspended. The, the Pop-Tart look like a gun to somebody else. If you see a cloud looks like a gun, it's over your neighbor's house, arrest them. I think that's reasonable. If you are born with a mole in the shape of a submachine gun, you will never see the light of day. Yeah, you, they just take a meat cleaver out, chop the baby up. Absolutely. All right. Uh, appreciate your call, brother. Good to hear from you. Todd in Canada, here on the air with uh, Stefan Molyneux, our guest. Gentlemen, how are you doing today? I just wanted to touch base. You uh, started off this segment about the uh, gun ban in Canada. It's the Swiss style classic green. And what it is is the RCMP have just banded it without going through uh, the proper channels and whatnot. Now, what I've done is I've started a YouTube channel and I've started speaking out against it. This morning, I called the uh, head office for the firearms uh, registry here in Canada and I, uh, I videotaped the, uh, the encounter I, uh, and I put it on YouTube. And I told them I was very nice to her, uh, you know, asked my questions, which she couldn't answer any of them. And uh, I was just basically said, OK, thanks very much. Just so you know, I'm going to put this on YouTube and have a nice day. My phone rang 20 minutes later. Mm. She called and she said, have you put that on YouTube yet? And uh, it was slow to load and it was in the process. And I just said, yeah, I put it on YouTube. And she said, well, you're going to have to take that down because you didn't have my permission. At that point, I informed her that she is a public servant and that I do not need her permission. So I encourage all Canadians to call the registry office and, uh, and voice their concerns. Right Absolutely. Now. No, I've been following this in Canada where they're lawlessly just reclassifying guns and that they've registered and confiscating them. And this is happening everywhere, uh, Stefan. This is really getting serious. Well, you know, and this is the example of what we've been talking about, different rules for them than for you. You see, they can bypass legal procedures to take your guns. But if you tape a call without their permission, that's wrong because you don't have their... Even though if you announce it and they're a public servant, I know about Canadian law, same as ours, you can do it. Uh, hey, I tell you what, caller, P plug your YouTube channel. I want to look at that and add it to our article if it's good. Yeah, definitely. It's Awaken Canada. It's a new channel. It's not pretty. I've just started. It's okay. Awaken Canada on YouTube. We'll look it up. Overdrive. This is GCN, the Genesis Communications Radio Network. Alex Jones here to tell you about how you can help spread liberty worldwide while also enjoying what I have found to be the best tasting 100% organic coffee on the planet. For more than a decade, my favorite coffee has come from the high mountains of southern Mexico where the Chiapas farmers grow their unique shade-grown Arabica beans. We have now managed to secure the sought-after beans in a highly customized blend. Discover and try a bag of the Patriot Blend 100% organic coffee at InfoWarsLife.com. This coffee gives you a long, smooth pick-me-up for hours without the headaches and heartburn that so many other coffees give me personally. Hands down, this is my favorite coffee. And it's taken us years to secure connections directly to the Chiapas Mexican farmers. Drop by the site today, order a bag or two, and I don't think you're going to be disappointed.
disappointed. Available in original or with our immune support infusion blend, you will be supporting a free press, all the while enjoying a truly great tasting cup of my favorite coffee. Available at InfoWarsLife.com.